Hey everybody, it's Amina Sante here in Tokyo, Japan. Um, by request, somebody was asking about how to do a body roll. So, um, it's actually one of my favorite things to teach is body movement. And so, here are my tips on how to do it. Before we get into the body roll, there's two important things that you need to be able to master um, for any type of body movement. So if you're a performer or um, an instructor, these are some things that are going to help you increase your style and technique in class or when you perform. So um, the basis of body movement um, are two terms that I call your C and your S. So your C is basically you are um, standing and you are contracting bend your knees so your hips are going to come forward your belly is going to contract in chest concave shoulders forward this is your C if you can see your body is in a C shape right the opposite of your C is going to be your S so pull everything back my hips are going to be back belly forward chest up shoulders back that's my S so my C and my S, C and my S, C and my S, right? Okay, so the C and the S, um, they're very important for all types of body movement that you do when you're using your body, your rolling, everything that you're doing, moving through your C and your S. Um, so for the body roll, um, when most people teach a body roll, if they break you down into steps, they usually only talk about two, three, maybe four points of the body that need to be working in order to create the, the defined body roll. But if you're going to do a defined, truly defined body roll, I suggest that you concentrate on five. Um, this isn't, I would not break this down in, in one of my dance fitness classes, um, but I definitely would do this for a dance class. So for the body roll, I'm going to start off your focus um, with the five points. So you have your chin, your chest, your belly, <coughs> and your hips and your knees. Okay? Chin, chest, belly, hips, knees. Okay? So for, this, for doing an up to down body roll, you're going to take certain parts, you're going to focus on having those go towards the ceiling. You can imagine you had like a, a paintbrush or a crayon or something that you could draw from those points onto the ceiling. That's what you'd want to think of. So if I have a, a pencil on my chin and I'm going up to the ceiling and I want to draw with my chin on the ceiling, then that's how I'm going to do it. So that's really, really, really going to stretch out your body roll and going to make it look really defined. So. I'm gonna take my chin up, then my chest, then my belly, and then my belly is gonna contract in, then my hips are going to go, and then my knees are gonna plie, I'm gonna finish it up. So I have chin to the ceiling, chest to the ceiling, stomach to the ceiling, punch, and sit. Again, chin, chest, belly, hips, and knees. Okay, so um, if you were paying attention, you noticed the C and the S are in that movement. So if you are really wanting to have defined body movement, you're going to use your, you're going to dance in what's called extremities. So if I'm going to take my arm, if the movement is up and down, I'm not going to go just kind of gently like this. I'm going to go and up and down really strong so i'm going to go from the opposite movement first to make the new movement i want bigger so if i want a body roll that looks really good this isn't really good i have to go from the opposite movement which is my c and then go into the movement i want which is my s to make the body roll so the opposite pull through back and down, back. pull through, up, and down again. Pull through, and down, pull through, and down. Does that make sense? I hope so. So remember, the C is gonna be how you're gonna start. 
Pull through. Pull through. Bring those parts of your body up to the ceiling. If you want it to just be a forward body roll, you can do it forward. Just small. But make sure they go in order. Even if you want your body roll to come forward, you can still go from chin, chest, belly. And just make it smaller. Yes. Okay. All right. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. God bless. Take care.